question that I get all the time as a professional healer is how do I have the motivation to meditate every single day? I've been offering professional healing services to women all over the world for the past 10 years, but I've been personally meditating and being on my own spiritual journey for about 20 years now. And this is a really, really long time, but it's hard to stay motivated and stay disciplined and to stay committed to something for a long time or even just for one day. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of the ways that I stay inspired to show up for myself so that you can be inspired to show up for yourself too and start to see all of these amazing results in your own life. So one of the first components that I want to talk about here is being inspired to show up for yourself. This is going to take you so much further than being disciplined, committed, and hard on yourself. If you make a rule for yourself that you need to do something every single day or you're going to be mad at yourself, you're going to think that you're not a good person or something like that, then it's going to be physically impossible for you to stick to that habit. So if you are struggling with the habit, like meditating, um, look at how you're talking to yourself around this habit. Are you being really mean to yourself? Are you being judgmental to yourself? Shameful of yourself? Oftentimes we have this really, really negative and harsh approach to getting ourselves to try to do something, but that's not actually the thing that's going to help us in the long run. And this isn't your fault if you do this. We were raised in this Western society, Western culture, where a lot of us experienced a high level of toxic shame. And so where that goes in our adulthood is it goes internally. And when we don't go to the gym, when we don't meditate or do the thing that we think that we're supposed to be doing, we start to experience this deep, deep level of shame. So that is happening and it could be blocked you and adding a lot of stress to this habit that you're trying to do. The thing that allowed me to really show up a lot more for myself was by taking a radical stand of loving myself. I'm going to love myself on the days that I want to meditate and I'm going to love myself on the days that I don't. I love myself just as much if I lift heavy weights at the gym or if I'm not able to get that lift in. And choosing to stand in an energy of self-love towards yourself makes every single habit that you do so much easier to do. Continuing to go off of that energy of self-love, one of the ways that that can sound like internally is I'm not doing something because I hate the way that I look or I suck and I need to do this in order to be a better person. I am doing this because I love myself. I am doing this because that is someone who loves themselves would do. I am doing this because I believe in my core being that I am worth amazing things. I am doing this because I truly believe that I'm worth having a life that makes me feel happy. So I'm going to do the things that promote my mental, physical, and spiritual well-being. So it can be really hard to stay disciplined on these things when you're focusing on an angle of discipline. But when you focus on an angle of self-love and forget about discipline altogether, you might notice that you're actually meditating a lot more than you originally thought. You're actually going to the gym a lot more than you originally thought that you were going to be. And it's a lot easier to do those things. If this is resonating with you and you want to start to be more disciplined in your life without having to rely on that negative self-talk and to start to actually use self-love to do the things that you want to do and feel good while doing them, one of the things that's going to really help you is something called a habit tracker. This is where you are going to start to record your data because it is your data, it is not your identity. And that can help you address these behaviors and shift your mindset and your behaviors a lot more easily. So what this is going to look like is at the beginning of the month, you're going to set up a 30 day habit tracker for meditation and you're not going to make a goal. You're just going to be kind to yourself. If you meditate just once out of these 30 days, that's amazing. Maybe even set up a reward system for yourself. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to start being loving towards yourself. You're going to encourage yourself to show up for your meditation schedule um, when you feel like it and when you don't because that is what someone who loves themselves does. And at the end of the month, you're going to look back and see all of the times that you meditated. Maybe it's just one time, maybe it's three times, or maybe it's every single day. Maybe for the first few months of this practice, you don't meditate at all, but once you get to that third month, you are ready to meditate because you've spent all of this time loving yourself through this behavior, whether you do it or not. So whatever your path is, is going to be unique to you. This is why I offer one-on-one -on -one professional healing services because it can be hard to navigate huge life changes on your own, even something as simple as starting to meditate every single day but another thing that really motivates me when I don't have that internal mental willpower and the discipline and things like that even the internal willpower to love yourself because that takes willpower as well so when I don't have all of that I remind myself of a really specific case study that I'm going to share with you so that you can remind yourself of this on your hard days as well so I read this study probably 15 years ago and I haven't been able to find it since, but if you can, please link it in the comments below. Now let's see if I'm able to actually share the details of this case study with any accuracy after all of these years. If I get anything wrong, please, please, please correct me in the comments down below. Link the article if you are able to find it yourself so that we can dive even deeper into this incredible, inspiring story. So in Northern California, there is a community that is uh, really struggling. Lots of chronic illnesses, chronic stress, people that are overworking, um, disability, as well as poverty and lack of education, crime rates, gang violence, drugs, you, you know. So what they did was they brought in a group of monks to come and meditate in this space. They sectioned off a certain part of the community and they had the monks meditate in this area every single day for 24 hours a day with no breaks. This period went on for two months, so that's 60 days that these monks were meditating in this space. The monks were not necessarily praying for the people or at the people. They weren't doing anything other than honoring their own meditation practice and doing the things that they would do in their monastery, but instead they were doing them here in this neighborhood that was really, really sick in a lot of different ways. So after 60 days of meditating in this space, um, the whole entire neighborhood started to change. The crime rates started to go down, the gang violence went down, the drug use went down, the levels of stress that these people were experiencing actually decreased. The symptoms and chronic illnesses decreased, and I think that even people were able to make healthier choices, meaning that the amount of chip sales and the amount of junk food sales in this area decreased as well. So just by having a certain group of people coming into an area and holding on to their life force energy, holding on to their self-love and their spiritual practices, it improved the entire community. And this just goes to show that this interconnected consciousness is so real. We are part of a network. We think that we're these lone wolves, but we're really, really not. And oftentimes on those days that you don't want to meditate, that's completely okay. Meditate for someone else who could be struggling. Meditate for someone else who might be having a health problem or stress or whatever it could be. Oftentimes when I could not show up for myself because I could not muster up the self-love and the self-discipline and the strength that it takes to do a spiritual practice or to do a self-love ritual, I would do it for all of the other people who maybe don't even know about these rituals, the people who don't have the time in their day to meditate or the freedom to be able to listen to a conversation like this and be a part of these sorts of schools of thought. So if you are struggling to love yourself enough to show up for yourself every single day, 
show up for someone else every single day. It doesn't matter who that person is. It could be someone in your life, someone that you love, someone in your community, someone that you saw on a documentary or, or whatever it could be. Having a percentage of the world prioritizing themselves and being in their best energy every single day, even if it's just for 60 seconds, just one minute, it actually does elevate the entire collective consciousness of the world. This has been scientifically proven in this case study, which is so inspiring. And it inspires me so deeply to be my best self and to honor myself and to do my rituals, even if someone else might think that they're stupid or might not understand them. It is so important for you to show up for yourself and the more that you follow the motions of showing up for yourself, even if it's for someone else that might be in your life or maybe even a stranger, the more you get in that habit and the more your self-love grows. So whether you can love yourself enough to be the reason that you show up every day or maybe someone else like your future kids the kids that you currently have, the relationship that you currently have, maybe that is what's motivating you to show up every single day. Whatever it is, show up for it and just see, just see what starts to happen. It is not about how many times you've meditated or how many years you've meditated. Your meditation practice starts when you decide that you are going to start a spiritual practice, that you are going to start taking yourself seriously. So if you meditate right now by just closing your eyes with me, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, congratulations, you've started your meditation practice. And if you don't meditate again for another year or 10 years, that's okay. That is completely okay. Your practice is unique to you. And so often in our culture of this Western culture, we think that we have to do things right. We have to do things a certain way. And that is false. The way that you naturally do things is the perfect way that you do them for you. Some people can meditate with their self love in mind. For so many years of my own practice, I could only meditate by thinking about other people. And then I learned how to love myself through that journey and through that practice. So wherever you are in this journey is exactly where you're meant to be. If you enjoyed this video, thank you so, so much for taking the time to spend with me, to spend on yourself. This is valuable time and the more time that we spend working on ourselves, the more time that we spend spinning these gears of how to get inspired, how to love ourselves more, how to be around people that are actually doing this work, the more you are showing up for yourself. So I just want to thank you so much for making my life easier by showing up for yourself and making the whole world a better place. I appreciate you so deeply. If you enjoyed this, please, please, please subscribe to this channel. It helps me so much. And also make sure that you become a member of our Soul School membership. This is a place where you can show your support for my content and also leave uh, recommendations of topics that you want to see me talk about, or maybe even struggles that you are having in your own spiritual journey. You can private message me over there and I also go live inside and teach you meditation practices that are so easy and simple to start feeling like your best self and seeing results right away. So I hope to see you there and I will see you guys in the next videos.